Hello. I'm about to do something a little different than I normally do. I um, was a photographer for about 10 years and I'm going through my old equipment here. This is a, a German Metz uh, flash unit. Very, very, actually very well built. But what they had on the inside of them is what they call a dry fit battery. And it pops in there and you charge it and you set this to the dry or a nickel, uh, nickel cadmium or lead acid. You can adjust the charging rate on this. But what I've done is I've cut the top off this battery and augured out all the insides so I can refit it with these um, 26650s that are their nominal voltage is 3.2 and so basically it's a 3.2 amp hour battery compared to what was originally in here is a 3.8 6 volt now this will be a little bit more than 6 volt and I'm sure this one was I don't have a battery good enough to, to to tell what the voltage of this actually is because they're all totally down to zero voltage so I'm building this little pack which I've done with these 18650s for another uh, flash Norman pack that I'm putting together and that one's at 12 volts but the charging unit charges it right up to max, so I've got to redo that one so it only goes up to 12 volts, 12 or 14 volts. So, uh, and I also made a pack of these things in it too because uh, I got this idea from J. Hugh Garcia and um, for making 12 volt and so vice versa, 6 volt, use these um, 26650 cells. So, spot weld at the bottom, solder the top, put this uh, 2S board on here, uh, B minus to the minus part of the battery, but B stands for battery, B positive to the positive side of the battery, and you got your P minus, which means power, which will go solder it here, and solder it here, which goes to the very top where I charge it, to the B plus which will go here and all this will go inside and I will solder them together I mean I'll actually uh, captain tape them together and see if it works cross my fingers There's one thing I left out. There is something that's called MB, and that goes between the two cells that are connected back here where the, um, sp the spot welding is. I took it apart and uh, thought, oh, I did forget that one thing. I've stuck foam inside that I just cut out of a scrap foam piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if this charges before I seal this top unit. Better make sure your positive and negative coincide with the other one. And then I'm going to stick this in here and move this to nickel cadmium and we're going to see if uh, it overcharges. Okay, I plugged it into the two of these. The METS power pack. It is charging. I've set it on nickel cadmium and then I'll check the voltage. Because if it goes up too far I'll have to adapt a charger that will work on this. And then when I get done I'll seal it by case so the batteries will charge. But it shows that it is charging. I'm happy to report after putting in um, two uh, 26650 cells, a BMS, and wiring it correctly and sticking it in the box. I haven't sealed the uh, 
dry fit battery yet but using the standard charger for this METS uh, 60CT putting it on the charging mode for uh, nickel cadmium it fully charged in the safe zone of this lithium ion battery of 6.7 volts well within the safety range of not overcharging these batteries which I greatly feared because the last thing you want to do is have a lithium ion battery <laughs> go off trust me I know on this but I'm quite happy about this I'm gonna seal this up with uh, either probably some um, uh, super glue I was thinking about uh, hot gluing it, but it might create too much of a ridge around it. So it'd be hard to put in this uh, this compartment here. But now I've got this back and fully operational, which it hasn't been operational for what uh, over 10 years. So it's so nice to be able to rebuild these batteries. And when I drilled it out, there was no liquid in it. It was just like a, a brown powder inside these things. So it was you know, it was a little time intensive. Uh, we'll be doing the same thing with this one. They're quite heavy and this is qu quite light. So it'll be interesting to uh, put these things back in service after so many years. Thanks for watching.